black one. Little bit too into blue. Of course, we can do nothing wrong in if we paint this black, but it, it will be sharper if you made the line. A little blue and a little orange? Yes, I think that is it. I always prefer not to make lines if, if, if they're not absolutely necessary. I try, you know, it's a, it's a sort of conservative principle of some sort. Yeah, I think I just do it. I don't want to take the chance. Where is the brush? The good brush. Here. Yeah. So I think we start on um, this on this edge. Because the bottom edge is always easy. It's the top edge that's difficult. Okay. Well, the, the one O there could be the red one, who, and the... Uh, and the blue ocean. ocean. <laughs> it sounds like... Blue ocean, blue ocean, ocean. Yeah. So, here we go. Yeah, I'll be out of the way. Yeah. Then you should... Then you should decide whether you like any orange to be put on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But is, is that, that too uh, hard? It's nice. Hello, too. Hello, hello. It's very nice. Who needs the Pacific Ocean? You do. You do a little blue right here. Okay. Okay. So do you want? Lightly in. Just lightly. So. In the O, of course. I would like to take off. I have to take off. Take off my pants and get, and get my, my pair of glasses. Oh, it was your glasses. That was the glasses. <laughs> you can throw them up on the roof. That's okay. That's okay. I know Chris is the way in there. Beste meneer Tom Messer. Het spijt me zeer, maar er komen althans voorlopig geen schilderijen meer. Ingesloten echter twee foto's van het laatst voltooide werk, een eiland in het centrum van Amsterdam, genaamd Boelgaarland, naar de kunstenaar Boelgaar. De vorige artiestennaam, Victor Four, is begraven tezamen met de schilderijen, de verf en de kwasten. De nieuwe naam is overgenomen van een stadje dat eertijds beroemd was als het Las Vegas van de steppen van West-Centraal-Azië om haar honderd fonkelende fakkels tot het in 1237 door de gulden horden van Genghis Khan Junior met de grond gelijk gemaakt werd. Enig verband met de nieuwe naam van de kunstenaar is niet duidelijk en wordt niet verklaard door zijn Griekse moeder en of Duitse vader, nog door zijn geboorte in Nieuw-Amsterdam en of New York City en of zijn emigratie naar Amsterdam. Maar de bedoeling is dat dit eiland voor een eeuwenoud Bataafs principe, land veroveren op het water, de fase van culturele volwassenheid inluidt. Which one? Oh, the red one. The long one. Uh, but I, I, it has no hoop. Can I? Let me have that. That doesn't belong there anyway. That goes up on the roof. The the one you just touched. Oh, well, you here, said let have, red. Let me have that. We need another one up here. Not the longest. This no, the, one. The one just uh, so. Why do we have so many? Yeah, 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 yeah. But this is the best one. It's a very good one. Okay. Now, <laughs> well, it is a little bit embarrassing to, to, to think that you've made the best painting ever made, but somehow I believe it. Uh, and that's, uh, that's the basis of the insanity here, of the belief that one can... Because... Uh, uh, there were, um, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of paintings made, uh, well, anyway, maybe there's 600 paintings and so, from the 600, finally there's 12, there's 10 that are, uh, the best you've made. And for me, it's, it, this is 
one of those ten, and it, and it really happens here between this man and this woman, this son and that son. And uh, polish it up a little bit for you, see? So, and uh, if you want to see a little bit more of it, that's uh, something to do with family and so forth. But uh, for me, what's important is here, because the, this is uh, uh, Fred and Mary, this is Adam and Eve, this is that the mother and father story, that's all. It's just those two that come together and, by God, it happens. And so forget about this, just this part. I don't know how you're framing here somewhere, because if that, uh, well, if that's not interesting, the rest of it is not so very interesting either. And, uh, hmm. Amsterdam, 14 april. 1964. Beste oom Socrates. Misschien is het beter er maar niet op te rekenen dat ik terugkom naar Amerika. Ik heb nu een paar keer de aardbol rondgesnuffeld en Amsterdam is het beste. Niet veel zon, maar een heleboel water. Foto's, camera's en fotomodellen heb ik de rug toegekeerd en ik heb verf en penselen aangeschaft. Wit, zwart, rood, blauw, geel, oranje. Ik weet nog niet hoe men kunstschilder wordt, maar perfectie is geen noodzaak. Doek is ook niet nodig. Prachtige stukken wrakhout drijven zomaar in de grachten hier en in de haven. Ingesloten een catalogus van de eerste tentoonstelling van de Amerikaanse iconen. Volgende maand in New York. Als Ralfie slim is, moet hij er een paar kopen voordat de prijs stijgt. Organstools usually are. Um, I think at least two, three people can sit on organ stools. I think they need to have them that they slide like this, you know, something. Uh, in any event, this is an organ. Uh, in Holland, it's orgel, and with the stops and. Uh, you know, you, you adjust, the, you adjust the, the tone by pulling these things. And, uh, and the keys, the, and then there's things with the foot, yeah, down here. And, uh, and it's an organ that, uh, hmm, it goes, it goes uh, a little bit to the sides and to, even to the back. But uh, this is the seat, this is the spot, and... Uh, and there's a piece of paper, and there's a piece of paper, and it's a clean piece of paper, and it's pure, and it's white, and, uh, yeah, and uh, you make it dirty. You, uh, you make it darker, you know? You make it darker, and that's what happens. And then all the papers, they, uh, they go somewhere, and uh, you heart, perhaps you don't see them back for years. And you, you put a date on them, and today was the 4th of September. Yeah, 4th of September. Amsterdam, it's, uh, it's a good city. This is the Amstel River underneath here. And uh, the city of Amsterdam is so kind. So every piece of paper gets a, a little stamp that says, mm, Amsterdam. Uh, it's a sort of credit. Yeah, and you, uh, and you make something. <clears throat> and the papers, they... Uh, over over ten ten years, they go up meters and meters and meters and.
Well, the thing is, when there's a piece of paper there and there's the, the big shot, uh, the, the big famous name, it's a fantastic, incredible artist and so forth, and uh, there's the canvas or there's the paper and so And of course, there always comes uh, a performance. There, then the bird is drawn or uh, the figure is, you know, the figure, fantastic, marvelous, incredible. But uh, it comes when it wants to come. Not in every film. Tickets. It's a ticket that an elephant should carry. And somebody did bring it on the plane to America, the original one. This is only a copy. And it's very, uh, very dull. Oh, we we'll put the plant back. It looks, better with, <laughs> it looks better with the plant. So. <laughs> and we put and the basket. Sewing yeah. and the sewing, the sewing machine. Yeah, it's very it good. It has a function. That's what it's for. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so it happened. We find these on the ground on the, on the flea market. And what's important is to get her exactly in two pieces. And right to the center. Oh. They're fantastically strong. And we use, uh, we use their power to uh, put things together. Ina? I've just uh, finished repairing this, uh, repairing the chair, and I have not tested it out. And I like you to trust me, and uh, just sit on it. Good. Yeah. Hey. Uh, one second. <laughs> very strong. Please admit one elephant. It's very strong. <laughs> well, but it doesn't really close anymore, you see. So. Uh, well, it closes a little bit. Beste lady Ina Munk. Ik heb dankjewel gezegd tegen papa en mama. Ik heb David Henry Thoreau bedankt voor zijn behulpzaamheid in mijn jeugd. En daarna ben ik op mijn eigen schouders gaan leunen. En sinds een paar jaar nu ook op de jouwe. Op de onze. Jij hebt het allemaal werkelijkheid gemaakt. Eigenlijk is er zonder jou een heleboel niet gebeurd. Of als het gebeurde, viel het te vroeg om. Zonder jou was er geen stro geweest op de vloer, geen vlaggen, geen open haard. Planken en balken zouden niet precies afgemeten en gezaagd zijn, omdat niemand er echt om gaf. 
Zonder jou was er geen aanleiding, geen motief, geen reden genoeg om te proberen, te doen, te durven, te zijn. En met jou is alles er helemaal en ten volle. Alleen en tezamen. Hallo en dank je wel. Amsterdam, juli 1970. Hallo Rolf. Excuus voor dit zeer late antwoord. Behoorlijk stom geweest. Had bruine bonen gegeten en daarna drie dagen met hevige buikpijn rondgelopen tot die blinde darm openbarstte. Buikvliesontsteking, hospitaal, operatie, infuus, drie dagen zonder water, pijn, pijn. Toen kwam de Deense lady met witte, witte vleugels. De volgende dag kon ik voor het eerst staan. Ik heb een flinke stok gepakt en heb mezelf een weg gebaand naar buiten, terug naar de boot. Ten slotte is de wond genezen en de lady is gebleven en haar naam is Ina. En ze leven en werken lang en gelukkig sindsdien. Actors, that's what they do, you see. They sleep through the film. I'm just um, right at this moment. I'm now. The fact is, we have some. We have quite a few scenes already where I happen to be jumping up and down, right? It and suddenly I decided for the rest of this film, I'm sleeping and I am lying down through the whole goddamn film, every scene. I will never stand up for the rest of this film. I am going to make my, my best that this thing goes quiet because there's a truth in it. There is there's not enough lying down. I, all that other stuff could be thrown out. And, uh, and we all screw down. We all relax a little bit. We make a meditation. It's never been done. That's never been done. Hallo, 7 augustus. Ik ben gek op getallen. Dank voor je brief van vorige week. Ik heb hem nog niet opengemaakt. Ik waardeer je inspanningen om een film te maken over Bulgaarland, de Second Quality Construction Company, Victor Four, de nieuwe Amsterdamse school voor icoonschilderen, het Drie Koningen Theater, Bulgar Time en wat ik al niet vergeet op dit moment, maar met alle respect voor je inzet. Ik geloof niet dat het uitvoerbaar is. Alles wat je daar opzomt is begraven onder het stof van vroeger tijden. En ik zie niet hoe je zulke fossielen kan opgraven en weer opdoffen tot ze er leuk en aantrekkelijk uitzien. Het enige wat me interesseert is vandaag en morgen. Dus drie foto's, klik, klik, klik en je bent klaar. Trouwens, ik heb nu een volledige dagtaak als ontwerper van horloges... Dus heb ik geen moment over om voor een camera te gaan staan. En wat betreft vroegere schilderijen, kom zelf kijken als je wil. Maar hier op het eiland kan ik niets vinden. Uh, it's, uh, well, it's for me an enormous surprise. Because as I was never really interested in painting. I, but it so happened that in 1964 I started to paint. And it started from nothing. 
and uh, within five years there came to be um, 600 paintings and uh, well and then uh, and and I can't do it anymore I can't possibly do something like this I have to do the things I can do today this is made 14 years ago and uh, well, I'm just playing it tired of it. And I don't know exactly why. I can't remember exactly. Why? Why? Well, sometimes you've said that it has to be an adventure for yourself each time you do a thing. And no, no. What happened is I learned how to paint. That's the right answer. I learned how to paint. This was all trying to paint. And when I finally found out how to paint, then it was dead boring. I mean, it was absolutely uninteresting. And then I just, you'd, every once in a while, just make another one to see, uh, perhaps it's going to, it'll be better. <laughs> absolutely not. Same, boring, 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 boring. Ten solid years, you don't make much in those years. Well, so you, you've concentrated on the painting, and certainly that is what you were standing on, you, with real brush and oil paint and on the surface. You aren't trying to say that you didn't do anything for ten years. There's mountains of writings and drawings and collages and yeah, yeah, yeah. and the, the building of the rocks. Well, no, we were, we were only talking about just the insanity of painting because when, you, when you're painting and it's fun, it's a big pleasure because it's, a, mm, it's like a coloring book. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, for me, it was death for ten years and, uh, and now something opens up again. And, uh, and for me, it's just what good luck. What good luck. Give it a little chance to to dry. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, but you're not supposed to touch that brown part. Here, like that. And now the whole trick is to squeeze it. So, and now we place it back in. Whoops, look, it came out. Oh, that was a little bit of a surprise. So, and now it comes in. Oh, look at the thing coming. It's coming. Hey, 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 hey. He looks too ambitious. So, now the most important. Come back here, please. Thank you. It's good enough for uh, maybe another month. One, two. Three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. And there she goes. look like this radio uh, that I'm listening to this radio but I'm not listening to this radio because it doesn't really uh, it doesn't fit in what happens here these things they keep out the noise so uh And, 
And, uh, and nobody cares. It's, it's all free. Easy. Uh. Yeah, you like this one, come on. It's the typewriter that's just here. Yeah, same typewriter. There's the, there's, uh, for the camera, <laughs> there's the camera. Show the, show the, show the yeah. piece of paper. It's an old thing. And we have to see that, that the, it's really true. Yeah. So, goes to detail. And in fact, many of the pages are made like whatever inspired Victor you were at that time. Through the, through the day has come, uh, been recorded in, uh, like a logbook of the ship. Can I hear perhaps or, uh, no, uh, no Academy Awards coming flying from August. Well. <laughs> so. I will yeah, talk every day we live with this camera over here, of course. <laughs> Booga. Be, be absolutely natural Booga. and so forth. Listen, what? it's all our own fault. It's all your fault. What? You made it all. You have to live with it, Booga. I live with it also. You're, you're, you're... Uh, cool. Suffer, Booga. It's cool, what you cool. say. They'll run out of film pretty soon. Yeah. Anyway, the, the drawings with writings on, you have collected them in uh, bundles with each having a title. Yeah. And some of them are in, in wooden covers, yeah, and this is why we call them books. Boy, are you boring. <laughs> I know. I know. All that's left is a few words, and uh, you're picking up things, and uh, you're trying to make things a little bit more clear. Yeah, you're trying. This is what it is, a sort of clarifying, simplifying process. And uh, But actually... You never come to the end. It never comes clear. I can't believe that it comes clear. No big answer. I'm, I'm very sorry. Uh, otherwise, I could help the inflation or... Uh, <laughs> mm, I'm trying to do my business. Yeah, very nice. You only want to be a puzzle? No, yeah, yeah. That's it. Much you better. love smoke. Yeah, much better you than giving answers. Just, yeah, you I, love that you disappear. I don't, I don't know. Why is it you change your name so often? Yeah, um... Why don't we just leave them to do something with those pages? Don't okay. come with me. We just get, bye bye. We just get out of here. And you just stay rolling as long as you like. <laughs> no? What do you say, Misa? Yeah. <laughs> I have straight knees. I'm not cheating. It's really my natural position, you see. Everything's upside down. Pacific Ocean.
no, no, just no. stay where they are. I think so, too. Yeah. You have to say ready, get set. I haven't done this for years. <laughs> How many times I went back and forth? Six, of course. Six times? Yeah. But there is no six. No, I know. <laughs> there is no this six. Is Could be a lot better. He was a lot better when I was younger and so forth. But uh, there's a. Uh, I'll do my best for another for another thirty or forty. How are you, dear? It's not impossible. How are you? I love you. Huh? Give me a kiss. She no, me a kiss. you don't want a kiss. You don't. I do my best to uh, okay. keep this thing reasonable. Yeah. It's complicated. Yeah. <laughs> It does what it does and so forth. And we stay here. Stay here. That looks good. <laughs> don't be don't be, don't be shy. <laughs> and and one more kid. Bon voyage. I know when I see a good view. <laughs> but because I love you. you, you, you I trust you. I know I can learn from you. Just open my Who needs the Pacific Ocean? Who needs the Pacific Ocean? Who needs the Pacific Ocean? could use a, a little bit more wind and so forth, but Tony's coming, and uh, every morning there happens the, uh, the Battle of Amsterdam. I'm gonna shoot it with Super 8.
september vijf uur ochtends. Beste Ans, excuus voor dit onpersoonlijk en papieren welkom aan boord. Je was er nog niet en we moesten naar Kopenhagen en vroeg vertrekken om op tijd te zijn voor een vernissage in een galerie en om een tentoonstelling in een museum voor te bereiden. Ik ga graag af en toe naar Denemarken om iets aan mijn voeten te dragen. Gast zijnde in een beschaafd Scandinaafs land. Zou jij zo lang de dieren willen voeren? De vlaggen hijsen en de klokken opwinden. Dank je wel en amuseer je. Bulgar time. Oh, een nice light. Het is op de weg naar waar je het werk hebt. Dat is right. Het is just around the corner hier. Behind the statues in another room. But this is uh, what we think the best chamber of horror. Ja, ja, ja. As an entrance. In that uh, chamber of heart, yeah. Well, the people, the people that made these things, uh, yeah, and all these delicious girls. And be tuned on the plastic. Delicious ladies. Very impressive. How do you move this stuff around? We, we never move them, we just leave them here. That's the best, that's the best. That's true. How you turn off your mind? Here we go. Well, my secret. That's right, don't talk about it. <laughs> Well, we take care of them as if they were mummies, you know. Well, that's 15 years ago. 10 years ago. Mm. Uh, a little bit dusty. So, 55, 40, 12, 35. That's the position of this uh, museum itself. That's, yes, that's uh, nice that's to know. Where we are. I didn't know that. I'll check, I want to check on these numbers yeah. because... Uh, Be dead sure that it is... That it's not a homeless, right. Yeah. <laughs> if you can come in, that you don't see anything else, to just come in on this. This, uh, it's like a river. I see there's a map and so, and somehow the the, uh, the knife goes and makes a delta canal. I, I, I never saw such a nose. And these are what I call surprises. You, uh, and it's finished, you look at it, and then you say, uh, where'd that come from? That's, uh, this, 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 this uh, I'm talking about a little bit about the happinesses of, uh, that, that, that can occur. This has not been, uh, varnished, I think. Now you see people, uh, I think you see, I don't know what you're saying there. There came a lady, she said, I think it is a hospital. Exactly, <laughs> I think. I don't know. As it is, there's, there's 12 people waiting. I saw this, uh, in Lima, but there must have been about 25, 30 men waiting. And, uh, There was a yellow door. That's the, that's the one, that's the lady that was taking the money. And there were rooms on both sides. And, uh, no. And these ones are obviously discussing it. And, uh, <clears throat> I wasn't really sure that they were, there were crosses in these rooms, but, uh, I understand they usually are, because business is business. And, uh, high windows. I wonder if that, uh, if that establishment is still, is still operating. Huh? 23 years later, you think they're still, uh, they're still doing it? This, this is the uh, erotic part of the, of the film. Can I take a peek? Aha, uh -huh, there it happens again. Yeah, yeah. Well, don't, no. should we make any tricks? We just go, we take the camera and we go. Ouch. So they go, they go like that, like that. I think they went like this. Something like that. So, and then the man went down the stairs, so. Hey, I shot my first movie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it wasn't very moving, but, uh, <clears throat> well, the thing about this stuff is that it, it, it's, it's a problem, it's a problem. You make them, there's a big happiness in making them, and then, and then uh, they turn into a sort of problem. And you a little bit put them on ice. That's good luck. Now I can forget about them. They're safe here, at least. It's a sort of suspension. They're yeah. waiting for the... They're waiting for something. But I'm not waiting. No, you're not waiting. It, it's nice that you have the right to, to scratch, scratch your own paintings. But 
there was a big hair over here, and it was trying to get in his eye. Let's get in. They, they want to, they want, they want to hang around, you know. They don't want to get lost, and they, and they really do hang around. Well, no, it's all good. It's, there's a there's a sort of meter stick over here, and the white stripe represents January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. Yeah, okay, November and December. And then well, here comes 1920, and in the middle of February comes me. And uh, I have to be very grateful for this big blunder. And, uh, well, and that's a kiss. It's the man saying, uh, I spoke with your brothers, and they said, yes, Mary, would you, would you uh, consent to go for a long bus ride downtown? And then she answers, oh, yes, Freddie, I'm a good woman. Not like the others, you know. Never fancy clothes, hairdressing, and nightclubs, etc. You know, that was uh, well, a sort of claim to fame. I heard it many times from her. And uh, nine months later, comes out this little figure. Uh, notice this. I've seen so many sons in uh, from uh, old work. They are they are they are sons. Anyway, uh, so many ways of doing it, but never with such little spots. This is sort of radiation, uh, atomic, bop, 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 and so forth like this. And uh, look at the little, the little mouth. I, I really like it. What does it say? It says Walter. It says me. You know. That's, that's the thing? Yes, this one. You know, we, we have to have this one in the courtyard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can, well, can we make it to a piece of art or something? It's, it's plastic, right? Okay. But this is a gallery and we use the courtyard. Yeah, and yeah. You, you can't have it like this. We turn it, we turn it white. Yes. And uh, perhaps there comes some blue here. Yes. And it comes a little yellow here. And uh, it's, a, it's a deal. Okay. Yeah? And it doesn't take long. So. So, white is invitation. Then we make it white. Tina, a bigger brush, please. So, voila, it's done. Maintenant, les derniers touches. So, c'est fini. I learned that from Herman Durer. Blue, blue's finished. So. This color will dry, uh, no, in a few hours. But this, uh, maybe six days, maybe two weeks. It's, it's just very slow drying stuff. Now here comes yellow. So. Okay, you have the yellow, and if you can do that a little bit on the side here. Yeah, what a mess that is. It is a gorgeous color. Oops. Uh. Nina? Coco! Wednesday, Tuesday, 
chips. And me? Yeah. I begin a minute. Big dummy. You're so dumb. I get the dumb medal. You get the dumb medal. It's so obvious I have to go here. Uh, nothing's going to happen. I have to go here then? Whoops. Uh, now, you should be able to win when I go like this. Boy, try that... something. No, try try the bottom. Try this corner. Uh, no. Let's see. Try. I don't know. Try something. Do you think that that's fun? Try something. <laughs> Do you think it's fun to be manipulated to win? I don't know how to win. I mean, oh, is it because you want to lose? You're supposed to win. If that happens like this, I have to go there. You're only trying to lose, is that it? I'm trying to lose, but yeah. I find it difficult to lose. Yeah. Here, and then you go there. <laughs> Watch. <laughs> now, there, in the center, in the center, in the center. Shall Very it? good. <laughs> See? Look, you, you've won. And then you make a nice big stripe. <laughs> it's unfair. It's unfair. It's unfair. That's what it is. Women's liberation. Yes. But the reality is a little bit like this, so it hey, is we true. Need, so yeah. <laughs> and now it all becomes black. Yeah, it all becomes black now. Afterwards. Yeah. No, I come sure, with it because they are really busy. <laughs> Mess. <laughs> Original color and so forth. And, uh, yes. Yeah. That's why I didn't see it. Look like that. <coughs> That's the way it should look. over here, uh, sort of, this is where the dinosaur uh, began. <laughs> yeah. This is where the dinosaur disappeared. <laughs> Not bad, huh? <laughs> no, it's happening in Denmark. So it's, it's a little bit uh, out of sequence. Yeah, it's apox. Hey, yeah. and, uh, and it ends up on this, the rise of the mammal, the rise of the... Uh, I, I I don't know. I like it. Yeah. That's all. But, uh, in a way, the words are important everybody to me. could do. Of course, anybody can do it. Of course, anybody can do it. Even I can do it, and with enthusiasm. You need enthusiasm. God bless it if you find it. It took ten years to find a second enthusiasm. You can't find it in a bottle. It just is or it isn't. There's the first enthusiasm, and there's really uh, ten years wait. And there is the second enthusiasm. Beste meneer Van Gelder, dank voor het verjaarscadeau, maar helaas, het spijt me zeer. Verfrommeld papier uit een afvalmand is veel geschikter voor mijn tekeningen dan uw nuffig maagdelijk tekenpapier in protserige verpakking uit de grafische kunstwinkel. Als je afgedankt en weggegooid papier opvist om erop te tekenen, dan voel je het warme welkom en de nederige dankbaarheid voor de nieuwe kans voor het tweede leven en voor de onverwachte hoop op misschien een derde en wie weet een vierde. En het heeft niet als uw papier de pretentie gemaakt te zijn voor Rembrandt of Picasso. Integendeel, het is al heel blij met tweede keuskwaliteit. En hier raken we wellicht de kern van de kwestie. Tweede keuskwaliteit is hele goede kwaliteit. Als je de hoogste bergtoppen klimt, wees dan zo slim om de laatste vijf meter niet af te leggen. Maar laat dat voor God of voor de volgende klimmer. Misschien breekt hij zijn nek wel. Tot helemaal bovenaan klimmen betekent alle kans om daarna nog verder te kunnen vergoed afsluiten. En wie wil er nou in zijn naam in zijn eentje en ongemakkelijk daarboven op die scherpe punt zitten? En wie in godsnaam moet de stille oceaan zo nodig? <lacht>